Thank you very much, Alistair. Well, the weather gods were certainly smiling on us today. It was a beautiful day and we're starting to see the snow settling on the mountains as captured here by one of our weather watchers. That's Ben Kendrick there in the background. But it is bonfire night, so it, it's going to be a cold one, but it will be dry, so do wrap up warm and have a good time as well. So a predominantly dry picture. One or two showers in the west and over the northern is dying away. A widespread frost developing fairly quickly tonight as temperatures fall away sharply, down to around freezing for many of us, if not a few degrees below. But then we'll a band of rain pushing into the west coast with cloud thickening up by the morning uh, with a strengthening southerly wind. So tomorrow morning starts dry but fairly cloudy, the best of any brightness tomorrow in the east. But this band of rain in the west becomes stuck across the northwest and north of Argyle, becoming more persistent and heavy. And the we will have quite a windy day with gales and coastal areas. As far as the rest of the UK is concerned, it's fairly cloudy for Northern Ireland, some spots of rain or showers across the western side, good sunny spells in the east. And temperatures are around about, if not just above the seasonal average. We're looking at highs of around 10 or 11 Celsius here in Scotland. Now as we approach dusk we'll see that band of rain across the northwest gradually extending south and eastwards overnight. So it'll be wet and windy tomorrow night. We then come Tuesday, we see that weather front pulling away, taking the rain with it, a brief ridge of high pressure. So once that rain clears the east, we're looking at a lot of dry and indeed sunny weather, just one or two showers in the west and winds will be lighter as well. That's your forecast.